and rest. Are you ready to pray? The Bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous man. The fervent, heartfelt. Hallelujah. If you can hold your hands together, wonderful. We are going to pray. Lift up your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. We come against every virus, every spirit, every demon that wants to plague our families, that wants to plague Nigeria, that wants to plague Africa. We command you to get out of this continent, out of this nation, and out of our families. We command your powers broken by the blood of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice and pray. We cause Ebola virus. We cause every other virus. We cause every virus. We cause it from Liberia. We cause it from Nigeria. We cause it from the city of Lagos. Across the 36 states, we break the power of evil. We break the power of evil. We break the power. You are a spirit from the sea. We call you by name and we challenge you in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant, we come with the rod of the higher priesthood and we challenge you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we challenge you. We challenge you. We challenge the shrines. We challenge the covenants that empower your oppressions. We challenge the enchantment that invoked you out of the sea. We challenge the powers that strengthen your oppression. We challenge every spell. We challenge every voice. We challenge every incantation that permits your oppression across Africa, across Nigeria, across the states of this nation. We come with the rod of a higher priesthood. We come with the blood of Jesus. And we command you. We banish you. We banish you out of this nation. We banish you out of Africa. We banish you in the name of Jesus. We banish you. Come on, pray. Pray. When the church prays, we authorize heaven to invade our territory. We are ambassadors and we are responsible ambassadors. No way to a border. We curse you from the heavens. We curse you. The Lord rebuked you. We curse you by the power of the heavens. We curse you above the powers that release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No spirit arises on its own. It is invoked by incantations. The Bible says that woman that invoked the spirit of Samuel, it was a demon that appeared like the spirit of Samuel. Spirits do not just arise and enter territories. They are invoked by spells and incantations we are going to pray one more time we challenge the powers that sponsor the release whatever prophetic code brought Ebola out of the sea we cause you back with the rod of the higher prison we cause those powers we cause those spells we cause it 
Every force of divination, every force of necromancy, star gazing, men who have connived with the heavens and the mystic spirit, we cause the power from the second heaven. We cause them, we cause them, we cause them from the astral realm. We cause them by the power of the Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus, stronger, greater, stronger, greater, stronger, greater than every force, greater than every sacrifice that permitted the Hallelujah. 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 Are you ready to challenge the power of terrorism in our nation? Listen, let me tell you, no human being on his own can have the audacity to terrorize a people. There are spirits. We are not interested in the human beings, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? It takes sacrifices to invoke these spirits. We are going to pray. Our weapon of victory is the blood of Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are not praying stupid prayers. We are praying prayers that produce results. The blood of Jesus paid a higher price than any enchantment that activates the operation of terrorists. And we are going to pray. We are starting from our Jerusalem. We are saying no way to Zaria. No way, no crisis, no fight, no way, and we spread it across the nation. Lift your voice and pray. We cripple the hands of terrorism. We cripple the hands of bloodshed. We cripple the hands of wickedness. We break the bands of evil. We break the bands of evil. We challenge powers. We challenge thrones. We set altars on fire. We plead the blood, we plead the blood across Zambia, our Jerusalem. We plead the blood, we plead the blood. Jerusalem, we pray for your peace. We pray for your peace. We pray for the peace of Zambia. Our borders are secure. Our debts are protected. Pray for the nation. Pray for the nation. Pray for the nation. We pray for every land where they have been bloodshed. We pray for the church of Christ in every land where they have been bloodshed. Oh God, arise! Oh God, arise! Arise like a mighty warrior. Arise in vengeance. Arise in power. Arise in grace. Arise. Now strong and blessed and God, show the nation that you are not a man. Show the nation that you are not an idol. Arise, O great one, fed from the breath of your nostrils. Blow as it were the Red Sea. These activities of terrorism wipe them out of our nation. May they be forgotten. Confuse the power that sponsored their operation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. And then we'll pray for ourselves and we're done. We are going to cause the spirit of fear. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death, not death itself, the fear. Our families are afraid. Many people are running around. Ebola has even become more scary than terrorism. But we are going to pray. Listen, let me tell you something. Fear is to Satan 
what faith is to God. Every time the devil wants to strike, he releases the spirit of fear. When men fear and their hearts fail them, then evil will happen on him. Then. That's why he told Joshua, he said, be strong. When you stand before them, don't chicken out. There is a government that backs you. He said, be strong. Be strong and courageous. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the spirit of fear across our media. Right? Because that's where we get all kinds of things. We are going to pray and secure our media, our newspapers, the social network, and everywhere we are going to pray and say, Lord, we banish fear. No, no channel in this nation will be a means of carrying fear to terrorize people. Lift your voice and pray. We cause fear. We cause fear. Across the airwaves. We cause fear. That spirit of fear. We banish. We cause fear. Fear in our homes. Fear in our places of work. Fear in schools. Fear at the airport. We cause fear. The church refuses to fear. We refuse fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of the sound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly, nor the noisome pestilence. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. You're going to say, As for me and my family, every virus is far from us. Listen. Take seriously this prayer point. You're going to pray and say the blood of Jesus by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I plead the blood upon myself and across the borders of my loved ones. Open your mouth and pray. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. The seal of the blood is upon me. The seal of the sacrifice that was paid. I have been bought with the price. I will not be destroyed by sickness. My Lord for us is in your in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood, we plead the blood of our ultimate hope of victory, we plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, the life of God, and work across every tribe of my being, across every cell in my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say after me in the name of Jesus. I have the life of God in me. Therefore, no sickness, no virus, no demonic manifestation can find expression in my body. And by the ministry of intercession, I cover for my loved ones. I cover for my family. And I declare that the blood of Jesus stands as a standard, stands as a wall against every virus, against every plague, against every pestilence. Therefore, I refuse to fear. 
I am strong. I am courageous. I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. The faith of the Son of God is at work in me. The seal of God's ultimate sacrifice is upon me. I, I was bought with a price. I wouldn't die cheaply. I was bought with a price. I wouldn't die cheaply. Come on, give Jesus a shout. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Hallelujah. 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 Floor. Remember, you are at a defining moment. A few weeks ago, I came with a prophetic word here that people were ending seasons and beginning another one. Can I tell you this? The grace to maximize this season you are in now, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the wisdom and the grace. Receive the wisdom and the grace. Receive the wisdom and the grace. Man of God, there may be certain levels of the anointing you should have had by now. But because of carelessness, like the hair of Samson, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, you should have get, gotten into deeper levels of the prophetic. Deeper levels of revelation. Deeper levels of prayer. Deeper levels of fasting. We have seen the limitation of our bows and arrows upon this country. We need the power of prayer. For our fathers kept history for us in the Bible and they showed us how prevailing prayer brought victory. Our father Elijah showed us how that in the power of prayer you can short rain over a territory and by the power of prayer you can decree rain to come back. Showed us how that you can rise upon Mount Camel and judge the prophets of Baal. They have left a pattern that we should follow. He said, follow them who through faith they have lived. They left a mark in their generation. And today they have joined the cloud of witnesses. They are watching. The Bible says, them without us will not be made perfect. The turn and the battle is now upon our generation. And will we be the salt of the earth and the light of the world? Or will we sit down moving in our childish Christianity that only presents God as the one who brings blessings for me, 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 me. I see hope rising on the wings of our prayer. Let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy land that's what I see in my spirit. Help me worship us. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy land. Come on, prophesy. Let hope rise. Let hope John Knox was a man just like us and he prayed over the territory of Scotland and he told the Lord he said give me Scotland or I die our fathers of faith like Charles G. Finney men and women who knew power in the heavens and they would pray over cities and walk around those cities and go back and revivals would break forth Where did we keep the spirit of prayer and intercession? We lost it in our pursuit for prosperity. We lost it in our pursuit for ministry. We picked up that selfish spirit.
blessings of God and left the responsibility that we have. But tonight, let hope rise. God in your Over your family, over your state, over your nation. Let hope rise. Our intercession tonight is going to be a cry of hope. We say, Lord, to, listen, listen. Tonight, I need you to remove your golden crown. Take up your priestly garment. We are stepping into the secret place. For the next few minutes, keep your seats. You want to lie down here, feel free. We are going to raise a cry of intercession. We take on kingdom responsibility. Come on, lift up your voice. Pray in the spirit over the borders of our land. Over the borders of this nation. Lift up a cry inside and outside. We cry for our leaders. We cry for this country. As we ought to, for the spirit, make an intercession. Lord, let hope rise. Let hope rise over Nigeria. Let hope rise over the north. Let hope rise. Let peace reign. Let love reign. Let peace reign. Let's 
Hallelujah. That a time will come when students will no longer be victimized in our universities. That a time will come when our parents will stop living from hand to mouth because of the wickedness of a few greedy and unscrupulous individuals. That a time will come when there be justice. That a time will come when social amenities will no longer be luxury in this country. Let our children only hear these as stories. So let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Can we sing it together? Let hope rise. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Prophesy. Let hope rise. Hallelujah. Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Your Jerusalem is where you are. We are going to be interceding for Zaria. We are going to say, Lord, we lift up a hedge of protection across the borders of this land. We pray that the citizens in this land will live in peace, in love, in understanding, and unity. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray for the soldiers on the street. Pray for the army. Pray for the leadership of this state. Bless them. Pray for those in authority. Lord, give strategies. Pray for the soldiers. Say, Lord, God bless them. God bless them. God bless their wives. God bless their children. Pray for the chairman of the local government. God bless them. Pray for the counselors. God bless them. Pray for the traditional leaders. God bless them. God bless them. God give them wisdom. Pray. God give them wisdom. 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 Give them wisdom. Give them Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we are going to decree. We are going to speak. You are not going to call Nigeria what you are seeing it. You will call it what the word of God says should be. Are you ready to prophesy? We must rise up. Said if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Let the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Prophesy a new Nigeria, a blessed Nigeria. Prophesy justice, equity. Prophesy love, unity. Our borders are blessed. Every state is blessed. We are blessed with great leaders from the presidency to the governors, to the senators, to the members of the House of Reds. 
We prophesy. We speak. Let the spirit be born. That every desert will be counted for a fruitful fire. And every fire be counted for a forest. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power. Bible says the earth is the Lord's, its fullness thereof, the worlds and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the waters. And who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? That he that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from our God, the God of his salvation. He said, This is the generation of them that seek thee, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Then he says, This is where our next prayer point is going. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be ye lifted. O ye ancient doors, that the King of Glory will come in. Say, so who is this King of Glory? It's the Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of Hosts is His name. Hear me. I'd like us to pray, and by the power and the ability of God, we are going to dethrone the works of darkness across the border of this realm. For we are spiritual people and we understand that nothing happens in this realm except that which is settled in the heavens. Bible says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. He said, bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. So we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers, and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. When Jesus was speaking, he said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. He said there was war in heaven. That great serpent, he arose, and Michael and his angels fought, and he was casted down to the earth, and there was no more place found. We must put the devil where he belongs, in the place of prayer. It is true that it has been finished in Christ. He said, forever thy word, he did say it's settled in the earth, it's settled in heaven. It takes faith and partnership to settle the word in the earth. So we are going to be praying. We say, Lord, arise and judge the wickedness of men across the borders of this land. And we pray, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted. Come on, pray. Holy ancient doors. Lift up your heads. Oh ye gates. Be lifted. Ancient doors of corruption. Ancient doors of wickedness. Ratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratabaratab
Le parata balaraba. Ale bada badosa. E patala bakana badosa la riba oya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you are going to intercede for yourself and for your family. Job chapter 5. Job chapter 5. Job 5. Verse 19. Look at me. We thank God for the soldiers. We thank God for all the security mechanisms in this country. But let me tell you something. The greatest security is founded upon the word of God. You must be fortified by the power of the word. I bring you a message of hope. They that are with us are greater. Job chapter 5, verse 19. Pick up your Bibles, please. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Number one, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. He said, Thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Verse 24. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace. And thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not see. Hear me. The greatest spiritual fortification is to believe the word of God. Call your families. Some of you live in Meiduguri, Kano. And you know the things that are happening. Call your family members and tell them I pray. Like Paul, while the ship was about to capsize, he told the people, he said, hold on. An angel appeared to me and said that there shall be no loss. And they rode safely and came to an island called Melita. Can I tell you something? Out of the ashes of what is happening will come a new Nigeria. I know this by the Spirit. There will be an envy to the world. There will be a demonstration of the heart and the love of God over this nation. I feel sorry for those who say this country will be divided by 2015. It was not amalgamated by Lord Lugard. It was an operation of the spirit. The lion of the tribe of Judah sits above, above, Kingdom reigns, your kingdom reigns above all. for yourself and your family members and say Lord they are protected in their going out 
and they are coming in. Pray. We are not receiving any bad news. In the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself. As you move in and out of town. Grace. Direction. Discernment. In the name of Jesus. Come on, The Lord will bless you for being available. His eyes run through and through. He's seeking for men. Seeking for men. With everything, with everything, we will shout for your glory. ourselves relevant koinonia is not just a place of intimacy it's a place of partnership partnership in the place of the word partnership in the place of prayer you will watch God step across the borders of this nation we have not wasted our time tonight. I need you to know that God will bless you for interceding. He said that when Job prayed for his friends, God turned aside his own captivity and he had double of everything that he lost. Let there be peace. Let there be light. 
let there be light in every state, in every local government, every community. Let there be peace. Let the perpetrators of evil be judged by the king, the judge himself. Hallelujah. Those, because the two leaf gates have not been parted. Are you ready to pray? I once prayed for a woman who had a school and all of a sudden, mysteriously, wonderful woman, people started picking their children away from the school. What did she do? It was not that, okay, they got some new teachers and I called her. I said, Madam, continue your pathway of principles and excellence, but let's deal with this. There are spiritual things to be dealt with. I prayed for that woman. I anointed her the biblical pathway not some of these superstitious things that people do there is an angle to deliverance that is not consistent with doctrine it may not mean that the, those who are administering it are bad they are just inaccurate as far as the administration of the power of god is concerned there is a way we administer the power of god that is consistent with doctrine she went back and fire breakthroughs everywhere let me tell you this if there is anything I know that produces instant results is true deliverance when the impedance leaves your life you will be surprised some of you can be seated here while in church and a call just comes this was the call you've been waiting for for five years you don't know that there are spirits in the airways that shut the ears and the attention of destiny help us do you believe what I'm sharing with you because from here now we are going to pray and I'll begin to minister. I'm going to take quality time to minister deliverance this night. And then we are going to pray for the sick. We'll speak over your prayer request. This is the sixth month. The sixth month. There has to be an evidence. Someone promised to help you and lift you. And like the wine presser, the moment they get out of prison, they forget you. And their forgetfulness adds two years to your pain. I don't know about you. If you are all right, your children are all right, you are already enjoying everything, pray for us. But as for me and my house, make up your mind that, Father, there must be an evidence of your favor, your grace. But before then, hear me. There are families that are connected. I know what I'm seeing as I'm speaking here. So I want your heart to be open as we pray. No distraction. Focus on Jesus. And let's deal with some of these issues. Hallelujah. One prayer point, and then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. Please let your heart be open. Please rise up on your feet. Please rise up on your feet. And we're going to pray. You're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of Christ, everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead he must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying please pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross lift your voice and pray are you praying? 
Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to give way. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. We have a few minutes and we are going to be very, very fast. But I want you to open up your heart and let the power of God bring you deliverance tonight. We're going to pray for the sick and we're going to celebrate the walking power of Jesus Christ in this place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm ready to pray. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. These are the first sets of people we are going to pray over. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names, everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, that yoke and that spirit be broken. At the count of three, you will shout, Jesus, one, two three i command that devil out of their lives now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ bring them out by the power that's in the name of jesus christ. the spirit of delay over individual over family i come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing chains, chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move, and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every chain, in the name of Jesus, chains be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. All the overflow outside, following online, chains be broken in the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Who is Deborah? I'm hearing the name Deborah. They call you Deborah. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah. There's someone with that name. Just very quickly, I want to speak to you. Deborah. You have a name, Deborah. Who is that person? Let me pray for you. Hiya, hiya, Das 
Ruska Leba Ruska de Bradiga Davari. Aquaibom. Who is from Aquaibom? Debra. You are from Aquaibom. Come, I want to pray for you. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, we are praying. That every planting that is not of God. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing deliverance. There is someone, the Lord is opening my eyes. You are holding three photos on your hand, pictures. Three, three, one, two, three. Please come. Please come. Three photos, you are holding them on your hand. Whether you are here or any of the overflows, if you can find that person while I pray for these people. Please don't come out at random. Please. There is a lot we are going to do. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. Please stand up. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is not a planting of God, I curse it now. Now, let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Now, for all of you who have come out here, may not have the time to speak to everybody. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now with a loud shout. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Everything that is not a planting of God may fire from heaven. Rest upon it now. 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 In the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying. Recurrent sickness. Coming again, you treat it. Coming again, you treat it. I speak and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I command that devil out of your life now. Out of your destiny in the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady. I cast that devil out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are standing, please return back to your seats rejoicing. Where is... I don't know if you've gotten the woman. I'm seeing in my vision a fair woman. You are holding three photos. Is there someone like that here? I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. Madam, stretch your hands. Lift. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come. Stand here. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. There is a James outside. You are wearing a white like a kaftan. White white and white i want to speak to that person is there someone like not not just this one this not is there someone like that you are not in this auditorium what's your name sir come and stand here what do you do huh i said you are wearing white and white i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you sitting down on a sewing machine what do you do i'm a tailoring sir
please don't come out at random let's let's fear god there's there's order in the house of god please if we don't call your case and you come we'll politely drive you back to your seat please there is order in the house of god praise the name of the lord you believe in the power of the holy spirit i want to pray for you madam i know your husband is following don't worry husband you don't have to come just stand in faith i pray for you please look at me the month of august is a strange month of breakthrough for your family i stretch my hands and in the name of jesus i declare it so by the power of the holy spirit there are two people at the back the power of god is coming on them with a loud shout please pick them and bring them out two people at the back I just saw light leaving this place right to the back please bring them my dear i cause everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry what do you do huh i'm an entrepreneur yes sir what yes, do you sir. what do you do i was actually doing uber but i'm, I'm into rice supply right now I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year, you'll be a multi-millionaire? You believe it? Listen. When, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We are kingdom-driven people. And everything we do is for his glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor, take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness. Not just in front. Even across the congregation. I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God. Any fraternity with spirit beings please bring them out i curse those spirits right now i curse those spirits right now i curse those spirits right now i curse those i curse those spirits right now hallelujah who is jane jane like j-a-n-e i'm hearing a name jane we may not have all the time to speak to people one-on-one. -on -one. Jane, is there someone like that? Who is gift? Gift. G-I-F-T. Is there someone like that? Gift. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own light. Hey, let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Lord is showing me someone, your mother. Your mother is in the hospital right now. I'm seeing this is sickness is she's been so i don't know what it is but i don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please my my dear look at me what's your name huh what's your name don't cry don't cry don't cry Madam, 
what's your name okay I want to pray for you father I stretch my hands over these ones my God I'm just seeing fire leaving my hand I'm just coming to rest on some of you right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be liberty right now liberty right now liberty right now in the name of Jesus Christ liberty right now I cause the workings of darkness this is koinonia the house of God I declare liberty right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus help them please hallelujah ah well this is serious um please don't be embarrassed you don't have to come out i'm seeing a woman you have been pregnant this is way past nine months it's like this pregnancy is just continuous but you will not give birth who is that person this is a very strange situation god is showing me every sign of pregnancy but it's like indefinite pregnancy you understand what i'm saying is there someone like that in the name of jesus please pray hallelujah 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 why is she here why are you here you are pregnant there's no pregnancy there now pregnant this is not spiritually preg physically pregnant more than nine months how many years how many years one year five months come and stand here how many years one year nine months how many years give her the mic this one i'm seeing one year nine months written on her stand up this is demonic how can a human hold on please madam it's all right it's all right how can a person hold pregnancy for one year nine months i'm a winner man a winner man he has won my battle for me i'm a winner man I'm a winner man I'm a winner man A winner man My dear Hold on Look at me, look at me Let's save time man, stand up Let me just minister to you Please be patient this night and let God give us a visitation. You are married? This is my third pregnancy. I saw you in my dream. Hold on, madam. Don't worry. It's all right. You are, that, God has answered your prayer. We are going to pray. Huh? Look at this. Look at me. I curse that spirit. According to God's design for us, there are doctors here. Women. Is it not nine months? Is elephants that carry children for over two years or so not human beings this is witchcraft everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give birth to business ideas visions every power stopping your delivery I command it to clear the way now clear the way now have the free Clear the way now! 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 As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Help her. Just help her. Madam, you're married? I lost my husband for my, uh, last year. He was poisoned. 
And since then, I've been carrying pregnancy for the past one year, nine months. Even if I go to the hospital, it's not my first pregnancy. Look at this. You are seeing a pregnant woman. This is a pregnant, and you go to the hospital. They said they did not see anything. Stretch your hands. Pray for this woman like you are praying for your blood. Satan, take your hands from this woman. In the name of Jesus, we command every demonic hindrance. Give way now. You have taken all the pain. You have taken all the shame. You have taken all disappointments. You have taken all the worries. You have made them yours. You have taken all my pain. You have taken all my shame. You have taken all my sorrow. You have taken all the weakness. You have made them listen if this is a genuine pregnancy then we declare according to the time of life may you go and give birth to healthy children that you will come and stand before God's people and testify you are her sister or daughter who is this your sister oh dear don't cry weep not for the book is open the lion of the tribe of judah has prevailed madam i stretch my hands and i pray for you now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let there be a miracle for you right now my sister in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life go and give birth in jesus name for all of you who are out, I don't know why you are out, but I declare by the Spirit of the Living God, every issue of concern, it comes under judgment now. I'm hearing the name Asabe, A-S-A-B-E. It's like that's somebody's name. Is there someone like that? I want to pray. Who is that? Who has? Ah. We give you worship. Worship the highest praise to the king. You're welcome, madam. Can I pray for you? I want to pray for you. My goodness, the Lord is bringing a miracle. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I'm seeing the power of God touching you, your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that is not a planting of god roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of jesus number two madam the lord is saying i should prophesy to you the month of july call it your month of restoration the lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life i declare it so in the name of jesus christ there is someone here we are going to pray but i'm seeing someone your father is a military officer the lord is asking me to pray for the person right now a military officer i want to pray and rebuke the spirit of death people are following on air no telling lies no telling lies we are praying for everybody if your father biological father is not a military officer please stay back make sure that you don't just come out at random we're praying now praise the name of the Lord you just come and stand quickly and let's pray please don't be tired God is visiting people ah I just saw light there is a grace for speed people are going to begin to run right now just hold them and bring them out. I release that grace for speed. 
bring them out there is a strength grace for speed that is coming on people now politicians businessmen men and women of god take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now please bring them out strength grace for speed that is coming upon you some of you in the next one month within one month within one month things will begin to shift in your life we am prophesying by the spirit within one month within one month the delay of years within one month speed speed to your life help them please speed to your life i'm still praying it i'm still seeing that grace rest on people you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life supernatural speed hallelujah there is a man of god here oh dear you have been praying don't come out the power of god will come on you you have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic you are on this road this road the power of god will touch other people but the person i'm talking about is on this row this row at the back bring the person there is a grace for signs and wonders as is happening to one as many as desire in the name of jesus may that mantle rest upon your ministry upon your life grace is coming upon you signs wonders i'm telling you you will be surprised at what god will do in your life grace you will command signs and wonders in business in ministry may the good hand of god come upon you hallelujah any military officer here that the spirit of death is looking for their family i stand by the god of heaven in the name of jesus christ anyone's father who is a military officer in the name of jesus you will not die in battle i declare supernatural preservation by the power of the holy spirit preserved by the good hand of god in the name of jesus christ preserved by the hand of god in the name of jesus christ your brother has been missing for two years not has been missing two years two years who is that that's your number one prayer request come and stand here stand up please my dear just minimize crying when you come so that we attend to you god has located you praise the name of the lord please don't cry look at me my dear your brother what's his name how many years 35 35 huh. how many years has he been missing two years how about you what's the name of your brother nandom he's been missing yes sir and my sister fejiro he has been missing for two years what's his name fejiro a... what does he do he just graduated. So, um, what was he doing? He was just doing some jobs. All of a sudden, he just went away. I didn't see him again. Well, on well, live TV, there are some things that is wise to just keep quiet. But you see, we have to pray for our relatives. Because sometimes, this deception that people bring, let's help you get to this country. You will get a job. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what is happening to him. But in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is making him misbehave, he's still alive. Come back home now. Can I tell you this? There is no country that has an advantage by default. If the Lord does not go with you, every nation has a bridge and there are people living under it 
so just because it's us or uk or asia does not mean automatically now i know that many of them have leadership structures that easily allow people to prosper but i'm telling you except god holds a man's hand and helps you in this life you can travel all you can and return back to your yesterday my sister where are you from i want to pray for you this prayer is not just for your brother let me start with you first huh shame and reproach in the name of jesus i command it to leave you the spirit that is part of shame and reproach release her now in the name of jesus christ my friend what do you do i'm a real estate agent sir you're a real estate agent yes sir do your real estate yes sir. but start preparing for ministry hmm? look at me the call of god was upon your life before real estate you know that right god showed you in dreams that yes, you will sir. do evangelism yes, you've sir. seen yourself go to your village yes sir. you are from my place now yes sir yes, prepare sir. god yes, is sir. calling you do your real estate but then at the same time don't run away from the call of god the call of god is not a cause many of us run away because we think you will not eat so we run away as though god just calls people to rubbish their life he calls us into a life of honor are we together now my friend don't cry i pray that god will help you in your real estate but i also pray that you will answer the call and that god will equip you and he will use you mightily for all our loved ones who are missing be found in jesus name hallelujah this will be the first time i will be making any public statement about a territory and about this territory since god brought us here i'm not one person who comes out and says you know prophecies and all of that no i love the lord whatever we see we pray but listen i'm saying it openly pray for abuja i will just leave it there we must pray that god will frustrate the counsel of darkness in the name of jesus christ that the sound of mourning and the sound of death by the appearance of evil men that god will stay we must fortify the spiritual borders of this territory through prayer and intercession and declare that god will expose and destroy everything that does not constitute the counsel of god are we together now don't say what i did not say pray but you see god has granted us grace and he has put a burden even for the territory i'm not one person who just comes to speak negative but if you hear me say this please pray in the name of jesus that there will not be a resurgence of bombings and a resurgence of strange kidnapping not of ordinary people but of political figures within the place this is the devil and in the name of jesus we don't celebrate negative things coming to pass we superimpose it by the power that raised christ from the dead in one minute pray for this region and pray for your region don't say it does not concern me please lift your voice and pray we administer priesthood over the earth city. We declare in the name of Jesus as sons and daughters of light, kings and priests. We declare God's power has come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Fast. I want you to agree two things in one have you written your prayer request now this is what i want you to do very quickly please just pass it to pass it nobody's reading it so you just feel free pass it to the last person by maybe the left 
or the right aisle whichever those please all the overflows let's do same outside if you're following from any nation you can send it to our social media platforms it's time for us to pray we're going to pray for the sick as well as collect the prayer requests right now praise the name of the lord how many of us are trusting the lord to touch us or touch our loved ones we believe in miracles will take 10 minutes to make this happen very quickly in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing jesus we There is healing in your name. Please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact. Those following on TV, you are following on any of our social media platforms outside. Connect now by faith. Connect now by faith. Every nation, every territory, we believe in the God that heals whilst you're submitting your prayer request very quickly please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and i want to pray for you right now i truly believe in the supernatural power of the holy spirit i believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we're going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together i'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you. The moment I do that, I want you to begin to check yourself. And I'm going to give you an opportunity for as many who have been touched by God, whether you're inside or outside, the moment I'm praying. Some of you, whilst you came out here, miracles were already happening to you. Check yourself. You'll find out that a miracle has happened. I'd like you to run. Come and stand by my left or my right, whichever. There will be people to just check you and we'll take a few miracles. Then we'll pray over the request and I prophesy over you and we're done. Praise the name of the Lord. Now lay your hands there and let's pray. This is a house of healing. This is a house of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, Please shout a loud amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Release them in the name of Jesus. Right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. Blind eyes be opened now. If you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair, stand, leave that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of jesus christ be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of jesus christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus
blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now in the name of Jesus now those who have been healed from the start of the service you don't find the root on earth you only find the body the root is in the realm of the spirit it does not die is God speaking to us we are going to pray I know that our time is gone but we will pray before I begin to minister ah this morning God will surprise you all that that you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next few minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what god will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to god's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning it's already too late both conception and delivery happens in the morning in the night listen while you are seated I like you to be I'm provoking you be tired of where you are and say Lord I thank you you have blessed me but this is not it this is not it for my children this is not it for my destiny I thought things would change in 2016 I thought things would change in 2017 but Lord this year of open doors maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically walk around this auditorium it's time for me to move in the name of Jesus Christ please wear the instrumentalist just help me someone is walking around and prophesying don't just walk around looking. Please prophesy. I refuse to be in the same position. I refuse to be in the same position by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shalika baranda salatasiaka brakataka tabarakato sadebalakas. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. hallelujah praise the Lord please do me a favor if you can if there is no space that's all right but please pair yourselves into three we are going to pray the Bible says a threefold cord we want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray 
please pair yourselves into three if there is no space just do two two pair yourselves into three let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives listen in the next five to ten minutes you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray this is going to be the prayer lord every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that i'm holding i draw that grace through honor lift your voice and pray someone you may be holding your brother but pray outside are you praying Parakata, Embrekete, Parakatos, Lakata Prakata, Sigate, Repo Shamata Parakatos, Lakata Bros, Sanamakata, Ekrete, Reke Paruto Shotoka, the play, Reke, I draw it to my spirit, covenants of lifting, I draw it to my spirit, graces that make great, I lay it to my spirit, sacrifices that open. another person's hand change and hold somebody's hand don't, don't waylay the man of God please make sure are you ready you are still going to pray the same prayer please these are prophetic instructions I tell you you are not wasting your time believe me a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken you are going to lift your voice again lord what have you planted in this man what have you planted in this woman what altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility i draw it to honor lift your voice
of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to lay your hands on your eyes and you are going to say the door of my eyes. You are also the door of my destiny. In the name of Jesus be open. Let me see. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming, whether it is of ancestry, whether it is of bloodline, have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. And I decree and declare, may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O lord art a shield for me psalm 3 my glory he says the lifter up of my head you're going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is praying awake thou that sleepest rise from the ashes of mediocrity rise from the ashes of failure rise from the ashes of limitation one more prayer point in John 11 when it was time to bring Lazarus out of the grave he said roll away the stone when it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave the angel came and rolled away the stone you are going to roll away every stone listen there are people the truth is you are standing physically but spiritually there is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray listen pray like a prophet pray like a priest that in the name of jesus that every stone that covers my glory my family our name our relevance we roll you away by the spirit of god 
It's time for Lazarus to come forth. Someone is praying. Pray for your family. Pray for your relatives. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone of limitation. Roll away the stone of retrogression. Roll away the stone that shuts your relevance, that shuts your voice. <laughs> Roll away that stone of shame, of reproach. Roll away that stone of limitation. It's time for me to come out. It's time for my destiny to be announced. It's my season of appearing. you things are shifting in this place yes yes can I give you one more prayer point father everything tying me down he said lose that man and let him go the stone can be rolled away but your past is still holding you the stone can be rolled away, but yesterday is still holding you. Refusing that you will not enter tomorrow. Everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow. Whether it is your past, whether it is your failures. Jesus, let me go. I cut away from you. Lift your voice and pray. <laughs> It's already morning. We just have a few more minutes and the vigil is over. But listen, listen to me. There are times in a man's destiny that you must be very serious with your life and insist. You know, the challenge with many believers is we are not yet serious enough. One thing I know with the devil is he respects seriousness. Take it from me. 
when there is a level of fire and seriousness you apply to your destiny he said resist the devil and he will flee not he may flee if he's not fleeing the resistance is not strong enough hallelujah we are going to pray did you bring your prayer request okay please return back to your seat if you've not written your prayer request we'll give you five minutes please write it because i'm about to minister now inside outside those following online from whatever nation you can write and send your request please do it very quickly we're about to pray everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go please write it down nobody's reading it right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away so you don't have to be afraid that people will read your request you don't have to write your name you just write what it is some of you may need to call your loved ones and say what what are we tired of in this family that must go I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time a vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing for deliverance for breakthrough this is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical once upon a time three kings came together to threaten the people of god and they submitted the request on the altar go ahead write your requests the bible says to be anxious for nothing he says he says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says make your request known don't assume it is known make your request known please write it down and in case your faith did not allow you to write some things write it again no. because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them because we say can God make a way in the wilderness we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you come and do what you do do you see me hallelujah now if you've written it please ushers ushers will go around you're just going to pass it they'll bring it before the altar here you can pass it to the last person maybe the person on the aisle can we do it that way maybe to make it easy or ushers just go around maybe just find a way of organizing yourself please make sure everyone's request is here just you can just submit it we are here for you come and do what we are here for you come and do, come and do what you do set our hearts, set our hearts. Submit it to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are here to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's let's have their request.
Oh, my life is changing in the name of Jesus. I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace my life is changed my life is changed my life is changed my life is changed my life is that I see today I will see them no more forever somebody is praying don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever do we have all the requests agreement with the altar of your father Pastor Amos Fairwan just just with here you pack it back so let's been faithful to this call and tonight gives me joy to honor that call and that mandate that came directly from Jesus what you are about to receive is not a mere touching of the hands upon your head by a man of God no 
everyone sent by God operates within the confines of the office he is giving. And I am not ministering to you as a preacher. I am not ministering to you as a man of God who loves you. I am not ministering to you as a father. I am ministering to you tonight as one sent. The Bible says, when I sent you, lackest thou anything. That means every dimension that you truly desire, if it is from a sent one, it sustains the ability to capture within your spiritual experience every dimension required for your excelling. When I sent you, lackest thou anything. Not when you went. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Please rise up, everyone. We are going to pray just in one minute for our graduates. Afterwards, I will request every other person aside from the graduates to sit down and then we'll be ready to do the impartation. Please stand with and by them in prayer. In one minute, I'd like you to pray for all who will be graduating right now, parents, loved ones, everyone who has come here. Let's lift up our voices in one minute and cry to the God of heaven, asking him, to supply grace tonight. Go ahead and pray. Hey, la baska di brende ge di balada badada. Pray for them. Some of them are in business. Some of them are in ministry. Some of them are in politics or will be joining politics some of them will be spread across the seven mountains I like us to pray for the grace to be effective that there will be worthy ambassadors of Jesus worthy ambassadors of this ministry Pray that everyone who will receive this impartation that their lives will so change that God will shift them into dimensions strange dimensions of grace that God will activate new possibilities you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace you will never be the same father we have come tonight in obedience to your word and your instruction to go and make disciples of all nations. Lord, we hand over this impartation ceremony to your hands. Holy Spirit, this is ordinary oil. This cannot anoint, but I pray in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of this apostolic and prophetic office, I stand in this capacity and I declare that this oil becomes a conduit of God's power. Amen. This oil becomes a conduit of God's grace. Amen. This oil becomes a spiritual medium that can transfer all kinds of spiritual possibilities Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That as this oil comes upon the heads of God's people, everything that needs to live must live. And everything that needs to come, must come. Amen. That this oil will veto causes. Amen. It will veto yokes. Amen. It will veto ill speakings. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Regardless the backgrounds, regardless the limitations before now. By this impartation, oh God, I pray that your people will rise to a new pedestal in the spirit. Amen. In the name that is above all names. I anoint this oil. I call it anointed. In the name of the Father. 
and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Very quickly, please. Um, where's Isaac? Worship him. You help us very quickly. Just charge the atmosphere while we do that, please. So, um, it will be very, very fast. The students will be coordinated. I will step down. And please stand with them in prayer as we have this impartation. Their lives will change. It's going to be a new season. In the name of Jesus, let's maintain an attitude of prayer and trust the Lord for a moment, a life-transforming moment in the name of Jesus. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Jehovah. We have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. Take over, take over. Take over, take over. Take over, take over. New season. New season. We have come to New season. New season. New season. We have come. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have touched.
Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. my body let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling
let's pray in the spirit in one minute everyone just pray in the spirit we're still praying over the school of ministry students just to have them back to their seats very quickly are you praying new level in the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me request the School of Ministry students to rise. Please, we can all sit. I want to speak over their lives now. Then they are now prepared 
for impartation. We've had several people calling for when the next session will be on. You would notice we have just one session per year, and uh, we'll request that you be patient. Just keep an eye on everything and your ears open. We'll announce it here as well as our social media platforms, and the Lord will bless you. Are about the um, launching of several campuses, I don't know about now, that now. We have to pray. It takes a lot to replicate campuses and there is a standard we do not want to compromise on. So we're working, seeking counsel and trusting God for direction. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for what God has done tonight. And um, for many of you, you came tonight not even knowing that there might be a practicum, especially for those who came for the first time i have one guarantee that number one whilst it is true that this was a practicum i want you to know that there is power in everything that has been said this is not this is not acting this is ministry hallelujah so to honor your investment of your time i would still speak over our lives at least just once and then we'll take any announcements and share the grace i think it's a blessing that we're living early today so that the day so that the day you don't live by this time you can have the memory of this day <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord let me also bless their coordinator isaac and the wonderful <laughs> hallelujah remarkable work and all the leaders who have helped to put this together um, listen, let me just, let me say a word or two again. You are not, you are not successful only because you do what you do efficiently. You are successful to the degree to which you can be secured enough to raise other people and get out of the way to let them find visibility. This, I think, is one of the major problems with ministry in Nigeria. We're full of a lot of insecurities most of the time, and we do not give people the ample opportunity to find visibility and to be blessed. No man as a single entity, you've heard me say it, can capture and communicate most efficiently the entire agenda of God. It's not going to be possible. Second Timothy 2 and verse 2, maybe that would be the last scripture. Haven't promised to conserve time. Um, I need intercessors here now and the things that thou has heard of me among many witnesses it says the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also this is what we are doing these people do not have to serve in koinonia tomorrow some of them will have their own churches their own ministries their own businesses the most important thing is as a united kingdom force that the purposes of god be established in and through our lives it is not all about koinonia it is about the kingdom hallelujah so whilst this is koinonia school of ministry the goal is not just to provide to uh, uh, and, and to lift and raise people who would just serve in the house alone my concern primarily is that God will have more vessels, trained, mentored, furnished, equipped to do much with even in this end time. Can we pray? Please rise. Thank you. Two prayer points very quickly. Prayer point number one. Lord, grant me the grace to be an effective witness. Someone is praying. Lift your voice and pray. My life needs to represent the purposes of God with accuracy and with precision. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace to be a faithful witness across every place of call, every place of assignment. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia is a place where God answers prayers and he answers prayers with proof. 
I want you to pray that one thing you are trusting God for this week. You came with burdens. You are trusting God to give you a testimony. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry unto the God of heaven as we release our faith together. Lord, grant grace unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here is my prophetic word for the decree tonight. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Arise ye and depart. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, every level where you have been trapped in life and destiny, recycling realms that are unprofitable for your growth, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that you arise now. I declare that you arise now. I declare that you arise now from poverty, from failure, from limitation, from sickness. In the name of Jesus, arise and shine. Arise and shine. I prophesy upon your destiny, arise and shine. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah the bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut short he said at the scent of water you have heard the word of god tonight therefore everything that looks like death around your life around your finances by the power that raised christ from the dead let it jack back to life now let it jack back to life now let it jack back to life now i decree and declare may the lord put your case in the minds of your helpers and compel them to attend to you i send it as a prophetic word may your helpers remember you for good in the name of jesus christ and anyone who comes to your destiny in the spirit of sambalat and tobias there were two men who came to stop Nehemiah from building. In the name of Jesus, everyone who comes by the spirit of Sambalat and Tobias, we command that they will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every negative counsel of Ahitophel in your place of work, in your place of business that is advising your helpers to fight the purposes of God we decree and declare their ears are shut to negative counsels whatever should not have left your life but by manipulation of altars by divination or maybe even by your own carelessness I declare in the name of Jesus between now and next week Sunday may the God of restoration call them back may the God of restoration call them back in the name of Jesus Christ is it all right if I speak about over your finances I hate poverty I do not believe in it it is demonic it is satanic there is nothing godly in it I declare over your life whatever has recycled financial pain listen take it as a prophetic word in the name that is above all names literally without exaggeration for many of you here by this time tomorrow in the name of Jesus may the Lord turn things around for you may the lord turn things around for you by favor may the lord turn things around by this time next week 
may the lord turn things around in the name of jesus christ the bible says now the lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means whatever it would take for you to find peace this week may it manifest whatever it takes for you to find peace in the name of jesus may it manifest anyone holding on to what is yours they have been instructed by god and systems to release it and they have refused we compel them to release it now let me pray over your spiritual life there is a gradual frustration and decline as you look across the horizon people are becoming discouraged and it's as if serving god does not pay and now the devil is already pushing people whether economically across nigeria and africa but the devil is a liar can i tell you the bible says for as long as they sought the lord he made them to prosper do not think seeking the lord is anti-success do not think loving the lord is anti-progress any spirit fighting your spiritual growth fighting your prayer life fighting your passion for god i command that they live your life right now they live your life right now they live your life right now koinonia hear me i speak unto you when men say there is a casting down for you i prophesy there must be a lifting up in the name of jesus finally i place a mark of honor upon your head and i decree and declare everything that makes for shame and reproach by this unction let it come to an end in your life i say it again by this mark of honor in the name that is above all names shame and reproach comes to an end in your life may that proverb ichabod never be mentioned in your dwelling again for in Jesus name we pray Amen. for in Jesus name we pray Amen. by the grace of God next week Sunday will be a miracle service for the month of July and hold on please it is not just announcing it I've been sensing in my heart right from when we we're over in Zaria um, I had been sensing that God is going to do something spectacular. May I request a minute from your time that as a family, let's speak over the miracle service. Is that fine? In one minute, lift your voice and say, Father, finally, let someone's encounter come this Sunday coming. Bring visitations, breakthroughs, liftings, healings, transformation, turn lives around change of stories in the name of Jesus someone is praying declare for those who are coming across the nations of the earth no plane crash no car accidents they will not be victims of the activity of kidnappers preserved by the word of the lord in jesus name i pray father we thank you for tonight we thank you for your grace thank you for our precious students lord we are proud of what you are doing in this house and continually we will declare your praise to the nations and we will declare that you be magnified thank you for the wonderful session learning and growing thank you for all that we have received tonight we obtain grace to be doers in the name of jesus as we depart oh god we depart with your favor as we depart we depart with fresh fire for you as we depart we depart with honor as we depart we depart expecting restoration 
as we depart we depart with joy in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare no one here will fall by the sword this week no one here will be a victim of kidnappers or assassins in the name of Jesus Christ you are supernaturally preserved in Jesus name we pray Satan hindered us there are many things that should come to God's people but have been hindered by the power of darkness any force standing your way any force that has vowed that God's prophetic word will not come to pass in the name of Jesus may fire from heaven fall upon them may fire from heaven fall upon them may fire from heaven fall upon them In the name of Jesus and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass as ye go ye shall not go empty whatever has made your hand empty by this oil of favor I mantle your life for increase I mantle your life for supplies I mantle your life by this oil for increase in the name of Jesus Christ and for everything that should not have left your life but by whatever means it left your life like the bones scattered in the valley of Ezekiel I command those bones wherever they are those opportunities scattered those destiny helpers scattered I command a formation right now I command a financial formation a destiny formation a spiritual formation of those bones in the name of Jesus we're wrapping up I feel stirred in my heart to just speak over people's finances can I tell you the truth this demon of lack and poverty don't you let anyone preach you into embracing a life of financial struggles it is not the will of God it does not bring dignity to you it does not bring honor to God therefore I pray that everything sitting on your financial glory by the power of prophecy he said I'm by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet where they preserve by the privilege of the election of grace anyone who is in any financial pit hear the word of the Lord come out of that pit now 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 in job chapter 42 and verse 10 the bible says and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job how many twice as much as he had before how did it happen verse 11 there came to him his brethren so it happens with men and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before if you ever experience favor God brought men and those men are still alive the Bible says he brought them before hear me and he did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him read the last verse if you believe and every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold whoever is holding what God has authorized to enter your hand in the name of Jesus the son of the living God this week before Sunday next week may it enter your hand in the name of Jesus help them please this week I say it again before Sunday seven days by the power of the prophetic may it enter your hand in a strange way please help that woman
the prophet said by this time tomorrow and there was a foolish man who said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen and he said you will see it and not eat it in case you doubted what i said let me say it again open up your heart that in the next seven days from today by the spirit of prophecy i declare that everything that must enter your hand in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the spirit of the lord that confirms everything he says in the name of jesus breakthroughs unlimited for you breakthroughs unlimited for you in the mighty name of jesus christ any family here whose glory has refused to be revealed if there is any force please help them in the name of jesus that will not allow the glory of any family to be revealed in the name of jesus fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars fire from heaven May it fall upon those altars. Fire from heaven. May it fall upon those altars. He said, Thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord, the mouth of the Lord himself shall bring. Everyone here called Ichabod whose yesterday seems better than your today i stand by the voice of prophecy and i declare restore 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 in the name of jesus christ he said he's put a new song in my mouth a song of praise to our God many will see and fear and put their trust in him for everyone who has said where is your God it's not you that will answer them may God himself answer them through the results that come in your life hallelujah every door you have tried to open and has refused to open a door is a symbol for access the authorized channel midwifing dimensions midwifing realms midwifing chapters are doors and every door that has refused to open to let you enter the next season of your life by the power of the Holy Spirit we not only open the door we break that door Amen. two more prayers if there is anyone here I just sense in my spirit that there are people who have been going through attacks seasons of attacks people in family attacks in dreams attacks in health attacks over your finances attacks in your place of work the spirit that is behind that attack we cause that spirit by the God of heaven please help that lady we cause that spirit now we curse that spirit now we curse that spirit in the name of jesus
finally let me pray for you whatever God told you should have happened in your life by now based on the prophetic word he gave you and up till now there is no physical manifestation I stand as a prophetic midwife I push that testimony to your life now in the name of Jesus Christ I push that prophecy to your life I push that prophecy to your destiny I push that prophecy to your life in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ give Jesus a big hand clap tonight hallelujah praise the Lord now just a few announcements and we're done tonight by God's grace from Wednesday or Thursday up until um, Friday or Saturday morning our Zaria family will be coming to Zaria and will be having a miracle service, a teaching service, and then very quickly a workers' training, and then we'll be back by weekend. So please, all who are in Zaria, do your best. Let's make everything happen so that these meetings will be life-transforming encounters in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. A man of God called me one time some years ago and said he went somewhere and the honorarium they gave him was so insulting. I just kept quiet. And I just counseled him. I said, sir, well, I respect your philosophies, but I have never preached because of money. I never, when I started ministry, I didn't even know that a man of God goes to preach and they package an envelope and give him. I never knew that. Sometimes it's when I'm done and I'm climbing the bike going. They would tear 2A and roll money just looking like Indian hemp and just squeeze it and give me. And I receive it with joy. It's till I get home that I even know what it is that, that they gave me. But right now we have many people. You preach, you go to a ministry where you see that the gen is often and only you know they are struggling and you are... I'm not, I'm not here to cause any trouble in the body of Christ. We must be careful. If you don't know how to kneel down and say thank you, thank you. God, you gave me tea. I'm tired. Where is bread? God said, because you even have the mouth to drink the tea. They murmured in the wilderness. Is it in your Bible? It says, do everything without complaining or argument. In the next one minute, I know that our time is up, but I want you, I don't know how you will say it, but I want you to look at this God who has been merciful from January till now June. It's part of the journey to your, I don't know how you are going to do it. You don't have to kneel or stand or whatever, but let it be from your heart. Tell him thank you thank you father i've not gotten the job yet but i didn't lack food this year i ate healthier and happier than even people who had jobs someone say thank you i roamed around people with communicable diseases and lord you have kept me and protected me the same thing someone did and died. I did the same thing and I'm still standing. I'd like you to pray. Someone invested his money somewhere. Did not get returns and plunged to depression and died. You invested your money there. And yet you are still standing. You have the courage to even stand. Say thank you. Take your eyes away from what God has not done. Just one minute. Is someone praying? I praise you. I praise you. 
Oh Lord, I praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord, in my life, Lord, I see what you're doing. One more time, Lord. I lift my hands in praise of your holy name. I lift my hands in praise. One last time from the depth of your heart. I praise you. I praise you. Oh I praise you. I praise you. Jesus, thank you for your hand in this ministry. Thank you for the miracles. Oh, how can we complain? You have been faithful. Thank you for every life and every family represented here. Thank you for everything that has happened in and around our lives from January till now. Whether we've understood it or not, we say thank you. Because indeed you are faithful. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for favor. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for deliverance. Lord, we vow tonight that we will live thankful lives as we trust you to walk us through the various phases of our destinies. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lord, we declare as a people and as individuals that we will not abort destiny in the name of Jesus Christ that which has been earmarked for us as far as destiny is concerned and as far as your kingdom come agenda is concerned Lord we will live it to its fullest I pray for everyone tonight oh God following from Zaria here in Abuja and across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus, just kept quiet. And I just counseled him. I said, Sir, well, I respect your philosophies, but I have never. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.